Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kristen. I am kind of weird, kind of socially awkward, and I cuss a little bit. But the most important thing is I love books. I love reading books and buying books and sharing books with you guys. And if you can relate to any of that, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me get in front of more eyeballs. And the more eyeballs that I get in front of, the more I can encourage people to read these amazing books. So with that being said, today's video is going to be a book of the month unboxing, which is my favorite time of month. I love, oh my gosh, my dog. I love it when that little blue box shows up at my doorstep because I know it's got some amazing books inside. If you don't know anything about book of the month, stick around to the end of the video and I will give you some information on that. Um, but with that being said, let's start unboxing. Okay, so my book of the month pick for September is Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayburn. Born. Rayborn. I, why do I always jack up these names? I don't know. Deanna Rayborn. So this story follows these four women who have worked with this elite group of assassins for the last 40 years. They're super good at what they do. However, they are getting older and their skills are considered kind of old school. So in a way, they're kind of pushed out and made to retire, which I think is bullshit because if you're good at what you do, even if you're an assassin, you should be allowed to remain working in that job. But I digress. So their organization sends them off on this all expenses paid trip just to kind of send them off into the sunset, into their golden years, into retirement, and all of that is all well and good until they realize that they are being targeted by one of their own people. They very quickly realize that their own organization has turned on them and they have to kind of rely on the experiences that they've had and their own skills in order to survive. And it says, now to get out alive, they have to turn against their own organization, relying on experience and each other to get the job done, knowing that working together is the secret to their survival. They're about to teach the board what it really means to be a woman and a killer of a certain age. Moral of the story, do not mess with women because we are survivors and we will pull out a level of crazy that you cannot even imagine in your worst nightmares. So that is my book of the month pick for September. Any book that puts a woman in a position of strength and survival and power, I just think that is amazing and I'm super excited to read it. Okay, so my next book is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley and I have to say I'm a little worried about reading this one because recently I have heard some not so great things about this one. I've heard some kind of bad reviews, which I know you can't really go off of that because everybody's gonna have good and bad reviews about every book, but I have been really really wanting to read this for quite a while now and I've just heard some not so great things about it. So we will keep our fingers crossed and see. This story follows a girl named Jess who is just kind of down and out. She's broke, she's alone, and she just really needs a fresh start to kind of get her life together. So she calls her brother Ben to see if she can crash with him for a while. And the best part of this is Ben lives in Paris and I'm thinking Paris is not too shabby a place to be if you want a fresh start. Um, and Jess is thinking the same thing. She's like, everything has got to look better from Paris. However, when she gets there to this extremely nice expensive apartment, she's like, how the hell can he afford this? Ben is nowhere to be found. And the longer she stays there, the more she starts digging into his situation and she's coming up with nothing but questions. And it says, Ben's neighbors are an eclectic bunch and not particularly friendly. Jess may have come to Paris to escape her past, but it's starting to look like it's Ben's future that's in question. The socialite, the nice guy, the alcoholic, the girl on the verge, and the concierge. Everyone's a neighbor, everyone's a suspect, and everyone knows something that they're not telling. And I haven't even looked through this book yet, so I'm not sure if you get the perspectives of each character, but you gotta love a book where everyone is a suspect. Let me know in the comments below if you have read this book, if you like it, if you dislike it. I'm just gonna go on a wing and a prayer and keep my fingers crossed for this one. So my third and final book from Book of the Month is The Anomaly by Michael Rutger. And this may be the one that I am most excited to read because one little fun fact about me is that, here comes my dog again. Oh my gosh, this is like the third video you've been in, okay? Like, can we just, can we just stop this? One little fun fact about me is that if the book has anything to do with archeology, span I'm right there, front and center. I have loved, archaeology, everything about archaeology from the time that I was super little, dinosaur bones, mummies, all the works, you know, I'm sure obviously there's more to archaeology than just that. One of my favorite shows on TV is Expedition Unknown with Josh Gates. I love him so much. 
but archaeology just has always intrigued me and the main character of this book is an archaeologist so you know this was like it was an obvious choice so this book follows Nolan Moore who is a rogue archaeologist and he is doing a documentary that has kind of been dismissed by all of the experts out there but it is definitely embraced by the conspiracy theorist which I mean I could I'm, I'm kind of borderline conspiracy theorist when it comes to certain things he sets out to retrace the steps of this explorer guy from 1909 who said he found a mysterious cavern high up in the Grand Canyon and Nolan and his crew are searching around and he discovers what he thinks could it be this actual cavern. However, once they get in there and start digging around, the cavern starts to turn on them in mysterious ways. Of course it does because once you start messing around with ancient mysterious shit, you're going to dig up a lot of terrifying things, curses and monsters that haven't seen the light of day since, you know, 5,000 years ago or I mean that's exaggerating a little bit but I'm just saying you know you start digging around you're gonna you're gonna uncover some some terrifying stuff. It says Nolan's story becomes one of survival against seemingly impossible odds. The only way out is to answer a series of intriguing questions. What is this strange cave? How has it remained hidden for so long and what secret does it conceal that made its last visitors attempt to seal it forever? That is the question I want to know and that is why I'm going to read this book first because... I need to know what happens in this cave. Those are my three books this month. I'm hoping that they're all winners. I mean, that is what we all hope for. Like every book we read is a winner. So if you don't know anything about Book of the Month, it is a book subscription company. I joined at the beginning of 2022 and every single month they will feature five to seven books that you can choose one of them as your overall Book of the Month. These books feature bestsellers, new releases, early releases, debut authors, and they come in a wide variety of genres from thriller to romance to fantasy. And I do want to mention all of these books are hardcover, which is amazeballs, um, but you can get your first book for $9.99. There's a coupon code on the website. I'm not exactly sure what it is for the month of September. Um, I will have my referral link below if you want to check that out. And yeah, book of the month is just a great way to kind of build your library or give you something new to read if you're kind of stuck in a reading rut. And I will forever be saying how much I love book of the month and encouraging you guys to try it as well if you haven't already. And so that is a wrap, guys. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!